Casey, thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Uh, you are in Riot this mm-hmm. upcoming weekend. It's at 7.30 p.m. Uh, what can you tell us about the show? Um, so the show is this coming Saturday at 7.30. If the month has an odd number to it, there's Riot the first Saturday of that month. So it typically aligns <laughs> with holiday weekends, um, which I only realized this this time around. Um, nice. But we'll be here for Labor Day weekend, too. Um and not quite veterans we hit before that one, but there's your odd months. I ran through the rest of the year for you. Um, so the way Riot works is it is kind of inspired by a short form game called Try That On For Size. And what we do, our premise that we present to the audience is we call it alternate realities. And so two people will come out and they'll do some sort of gesture. Like let's say they're riding a bike. So they got their hands on their handlebars and their high knee and looking like they're doing pedals. We do a bunch of scenes, do runs on that, and then those same two people come back, same motion, but they have to give a different justification. Maybe now they're stomping grapes at a winery or something more fantastical. Um, But you have that same repeat motion, and it's a relationship provided to us from the audience and a location where that relationship doesn't typically get seen. Um, So you might see we've had like a museum curator and a patron (laughs) And, and they're at Subway. And mm-hmm. and that's going to start that first scene. And then it just yeah. kind of runs from there. And it's a it's a great team. It very much predates me being here. So it's, it's cool to be able to join. It's fast. It's such a fast, silly, silly show. Yeah. I've worked it a couple times. And it's very funny. Yeah, because you can just like rip through things. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the people, all of the people on the show are very enjoyable to watch. And there's kind of a fun like giddy energy i would say i would say so and yeah because it it can move so fast so chances are you can get your idea out there but chances are too because it's such a smart it's a smart team of people um they're gonna pick up on what else that that could be so that's pretty fun to see your ideas get shared and kind of have that mind meld moment on stage that's very cool it's a it's a damn smart team we got a couple doctors on there um right it's a it's a high flying team, um, some great season improv vets on there too. So it's it's really cool to have that mix. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when did you start at the comedy spot, and what has been like your improv journey? Okay, um, if I move chronological, I could tell you more about my improv journey. Yeah, please. first. Okay, okay. So when I was in high school, my senior year, so this would have been oh six oh seven, I had a very dorky job as a student. Um, and I was the NorCal representative to the Student State Board of the International Thespian Society. Okay. It, I tell you, dorky, it was <laughs> amazing. And it was an elected position, so, like, it was cool. Um, <clears throat> and so I got to go down to L.A. a handful of times over the school year. And we would lead leadership trainings with other kids. and Whoa. And then we would put on state conference at the end of the year, and it was, like, I got to meet Lawrence Fishburne and like sit next to him at dinner at like 17 and just not die um, of fangirling. <laughs> and so when we were at this like couple week get to know you retreat over the summer before that school year, we went to a local improv show mm-hmm. and it was a short form show. And my chaperone, who's my theater director, was a couple rows behind because they put all the kids right yeah. in the front, which I'm so sure can- these adults lo- looking back, it's like, oh, you're. You're so generous to let all these kids sit right in the front. Um, and I'm sure we didn't give them the best suggestions. But uh, they were playing a guessing game. And at one point, they just they got something. And it was a nonverbal yeah. guessing game. So that blew my mind. And then they played stage directions. And the guy faked licking the stage. Uh-huh. And we all, being kids, were like, no, do it. Do it, you cheater. So he did do it. And... Um, we love the show so much. I turned around to my director and I said, "We we have we have yeah. to have this." Um, so we got a a high school improv team going, spring of my senior year, and then went away to college in the Bay. There was a long standing long form team there called Improvaholics, um, and I ended up living with them for many years. Um, and then other improv groups here in Sacramento when I came back after college, and then. I I'd had a really big surgery, so like I, I was stuck in a wheelchair yeah. and long, long recovery. And so when I finally upgraded to cane, I was allowed a couple hours a day without a cane. And I used those to take my 101 and 201 oh. and 301 classes. 
And that would have been uh, summer of 2017. Yeah. Uh, Brian here, producer, uh, uh, weirdly in the background talking. Uh, did you do comedy sports for a while? Was yeah. that the other place? I didn't that you know performed? if that was appropriate to name them. Or oh not. yeah, that's, <laughs> so I talked yeah, that's around fine. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a comedy sports LA show, and then we saw other improvs as well. But you had to give us venues where you could be under twenty one and go Got when I was in high it. school. Yeah. Um, so we did high school league, and it lived through my sister year, my sister's years of high school. It did disband. Um, and then the Sacramento Comedy Sports disbanded a little while ago, a couple of years ago. Yeah, a little yeah. bit before COVID, right? I, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, but I had transitioned over. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, very cool. Okay, yeah. sorry, I'm going to go no, back to doing you. my thing and watching the screen. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice. Um, and so, yeah, I had a couple hours a day of, like, free play, yeah. and I'm certain I moved like Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> um, but it was really nice, and I met amazing people. Uh Dana, I met in my 201. Kareen, I met in 201. And we just, we had this really big girl group generation Heck kind yeah. of come through at that time. And some people have since moved. But um, yeah, it was great. And then did Harold, which is, predates Helix. Yeah. And <laughs> anything, everything people would invite me to, I've, I've gotten That's to play awesome. on. So it's been really cool. Nice. Yeah. And we did, that was our first show together. I know. Last Saturday. That was exciting. It was Get to do great. it again on the 12th. Come see us. There you go. Um, okay, I have more questions. Okay. What is your favorite plant? Like, plant. <laughs> Not like a plant in the audience. Be like, that guy. Um, my favorite plant. I don't know that I've ever thought about this before. Mm -hmm. No, take your time, really. Okay, okay. Savor it. Okay. Of one that, like, I really liked Jurassic Park growing up. So, like the really big ferns not the kind that would be in your yeah, house yeah. but like yes that would overgrow i always thought That's those great. were really cool um and like there's something kind of cool about like well now i'm thinking because i like scary movies like a ton that's that's my genre so something of like a like a weeping willow with a spanish moss and there's like bayou water like <laughs> Wow. I don't want one, and I don't live where I can take care of one, but I'm like, that's spooky. It's interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, I think either of those. Those are great answers. Yeah. Okay, what's your least favorite plant? <laughs> I guess I should have anticipated that. My least favorite plant? Mm -hmm. Probably something that would that would hurt you back. Um, oh, so the Weeping Willie was just for, like, bad ambiance, but it wouldn't no, no, actually no. It's, hurt. like, spooky, like, ooh, some... Yeah. We're going to watch a good movie if that plant's okay. here. Similar to... Dr oh, my God. I like plants and movies. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad I figured that out about myself. Um, but I think, yeah, something of like a poison ivy, poison oak. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. I'm good. Okay. My third and final plant question. Um, <laughs> if the, the movie plants uh -huh. fought the poison oak, oh. which would win? I think the moving the movie plants have to win because they're bigger mm, true they've got like a tonal back there's a mood to them they yeah now i'm pulling this out of nowhere um <laughs> no they they would have they would have to win yeah but then oh my why did i not think about this audrey too is a plant audrey from is actually the intersection of those two things right it is yeah yeah and so maybe Audrey two intercedes and then it's like it's okay. Oh guys. yeah, the mediator of the right. fight. I'm That's like, I am the amalgamation of all of you. <laughs> the Venn diagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just love Ken Page, who voiced him at Music Circus a couple summers ago. And yeah, so Ken Page as Audrey two will save the day and then Thank the you, plants Ken. don't have to That's don't great. have to fight. He's Oogie Boogie and Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah uh music circus is very cool yeah um i think i'm going to waitress this summer there you go yeah i actually ran into mignon at six. Oh, nice so i like six a lot brian here <laughs> voice behind the podcast uh um casey you have you told adara about your connection to no <laughs> uh, do you want to share or? i can't okay yeah. go ahead yeah to music circus yeah I yeah imagine. to music okay. circus um so we we grew up around Sacramento, so all my life we went. Mm -hmm. um, and then Joe and I started dating. We met at Comedy Spot, as was advertised <laughs> in the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, that did come up. I forgot about that. 
And um, and then he said, you pointed off stage to me, but everyone thought you were pointing to Sam, who didn't know you. <laughs> and so I think it's been assumed that Sam and I are married, and that is not accurate. Um, I wish him the best. Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know what to say. In all of his future endeavors. Right, right, right. Um, but uh, so... Joe and I had started dating, and Mm -hmm. and Joe works in the theater union, and I had gone to see Jersey Boys with my mom, and I hear that, like, please silence your cell phones, locate the exit nearest you, our sponsor, Quick Rack Car Wash, all that jazz. (laughs) And I realize, I go, I know that voice. I I just met this voice, because I had met his parents, and I flipped through the dang program. It was his dad's company, and I I didn't know. Oh, my God. I had had gone up, I had grown up going my whole life. Yeah. Um, And so... Yeah, that was a really neat thing that we both loved and we shared and we, we actually got engaged at Music Circus. They kind of opened it up after hours for God, us. That's um, awesome. And we had to, I guess we didn't have to, but we chose to still get married during COVID. So we actually got married in front of the fountain at the Music Whoa. Circus courtyard. That's where it was legal. And then we had the big, big party with everybody a year later when things were yeah. were safe to do so. That's yeah, awesome. So Music Circus, very special place. Um, we like to take photos in front of the fountain and be like, married again. And just, <laughs> that's, you know, wow. with your like beer in your hand or whatever, married again. <laughs> it's good fun. So yeah, um, it became a much bigger part of my life than yeah. me just <laughs> being a patron. Um, yeah. But I remember when it was like a legit, it used to be a real tent and this is toasty, but like Brian, you've been there when it was a tent. Uh, Brian here, unseen voice again. Uh, yeah, dude, the it used to be a legit circus tent, and it was hotter than any. It was hotter than hell. Mm-hmm. It was so hot in there in the summer. But that's when they had music circus. Yeah. So you would just melt in that in that oh venue. Oh my gosh. And they would have these like giant swamp coolers around the perimeter because it's in the round. And you would have like your snow cones or your, was it Hagen's or something? And you're just like dying. And because you're a little kid, you're like, I'm going to wear my flower girl dress because it's fancy and it's all polyester. Sticking and to you. Just everyone's sticky. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to. They I'm gonna... have AC. It's a real permanent building. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, yeah, okay. it's good now. Yes. It's good. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm signing off again. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, because I feel like also theaters classically, like, you want people to be a little, like, you want the AC to be, like, on. Yes. And this is, like, the entire opposite of that. Yeah. Yeah. So they've, they've since made a permanent building. The AC is so strong that I did wear a jacket during the show this past Sunday, Saturday. Nice. So it's cold, not just, like, oh, it's, it's not warm. It's cold. So it's you'll be comfortable. Chill. Yeah. 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 Nice. Okay. If you had to remove a color from the rainbow, which one would it be? <laughs> i feel like these are all thematic i don't know why everybody is laughing i feel that there's like some psychology student and i'm being analyzed <laughs> with these answers um if this i had is... to remove a color i i don't care for yellow okay um, you hear that yellow your days are numbered <laughs> yeah you symbolize cowardice so just go um and like jaundice and jaundice <laughs> and i just don't look cute in yellow so <laughs> It yeah, can go. <laughs> it can. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a big yellow wear either, so no. I support this. Yeah, just no. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. Okay. Would you rather be a frog playing banjo on a lily pad or a mouse <laughs> stirring soup in a cottage? <laughs> I can run those by you again if you want. Okay, so a frog playing banjo uh-huh. on a lily pad. Yeah. Or a, is he on the pirates ride? Uh, like in Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. does that sweeten the deal? He can be. I don't. It just sounds like it. Um, or a mouse stirring soup in a cottage, maybe in a little hat and apron, if you would like. Oh, um, if the cottage is in winter time, that is more appealing. Um, yeah. <laughs> hot soup, hot soup. But I don't like soup at all. So Whoa. I don't I don't eat soup. I don't like soup. I think it's a sign that I'm ill. And it's like yeah, okay. it's a, it's an admission that I'm yeah. sick. Like that's a legit truth in our household. Um <laughs> you just like really begrudgingly be like, you gotta give me some yeah, soup. Yeah, where it's like, oh damn it, I am sick. I have to no. eat soup. Like it's it's like I've given up the fight when mm-hmm. it's time to eat soup. So I think I I think I have to learn how to play the banjo and okay. live my life as a frog. That's a frog on a lily pad. Um Yeah. You could wear a bow tie if you wanted to while you did it. 
<laughs> I feel like there's a butter churn not far from him. Absolutely. Right? Like, yeah. he's just down on the farm or something. And- yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. That reminds me, this, <laughs> this weekend, one of the scenes in the workplace um, mm-hmm. woe show was people doing Southern accents. <laughs> I I was supposed to be angry in this scene, but Brian came on with an accent that is technically Southern, but they were doing like Alabama Southern and he Mm -hmm. came on with a very distinctly New Orleans accent. And eventually in the scene, somebody has to be like, you're from New Orleans because it became so obvious that he was doing a different accent. Yeah. You had like a Cajun vibe. Yeah. It was really impressive. Honestly. Uh, Brian here, hidden voice of the show. Uh, That's totally incorrect. It was the best Alabama accent ever. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then then you sang dueling banjos and then um michael who plays the banjo ukulele came on and then just actually started singing a bluegrass song on stage <laughs> and i was like it's so hard for me to be angry in this scene because everybody is doing great things yeah it was really fun and that was really fun the banjo riff that brian did was i right that that was a deliverance that's but, from the movie Deliverance. that's what they play on deliverance okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the only banjo riff i know yeah. so i was like Ding ding ding! That was my whole hit. That was my whole hit because it was. Oh, by the way, Brian here, hidden voice of the show. <laughs> so, um, do you think that people forget in between the last time you talked and this time that you talked? Yeah, they 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 could have tuned out. They could have put it on pause, and then I'm just coming okay. back. <laughs> hey, don't let me question your vibe. Don't let me. You, I think you do, you bud. It should be on like a tote. Or a shirt. <laughs> Brian <laughs> hit his voice on the pod. <laughs> yeah. That'd be actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah, no, that was my whole hit was that, because it, um, it was supposed to be like a, like a hick French laundry yeah. version mm-hmm. of French laundry. And they had already hit like, uh, did they already talk about roadkill or something like that? Or I, can't I don't know. We hits. were in a callback, so we yeah. had already done a whole yeah. scene of it. And I was like, oh, well, it'd be funny if I just played Deliverance. So, yeah. yeah. And there's always a band at fan or, a, you know, like a guitar player, yeah. or singer at a fancy restaurant. So, anyway, okay, I'm going to go back to the city here. You guys do your thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, that's good. I learned a lot about myself in that question. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what this show is yeah, here thank for. You. Um, do you prefer blinds or curtains? <laughs> I don't understand why it's just so funny every time. Because because I so appreciate it because nobody asks. Everyone's always like, how's work? <laughs> you enjoying work? And you're like, well, that's not the only thing. I Nobody asks these like wow. really fun get to know you as, and they're accessible. They're, you know, they're not assuming any one yeah. thing about somebody. Um, I love a blackout curtain. Like if I can be in the dark and watch a movie or not know what time of day it is yeah. as I'm trying to sleep in. That would be that. And there's there's something fun about Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't use <clears throat> blinds in my house cuz my cat in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ours will try to climb up. We have two and if you open them, then they want them more open and they attack everything or they try to dive through them and one of them is far too big. To try to dive through them. He's Baby. He's like 18 pounds. <gasps> wow. He's, he's not chunky so much as he's big. Yeah. His torso is longer than mine. <laughs> I've held him by the armpits <laughs> and I'm like. Just the longest he's just, cat. He's a big boy. He's so. a big boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my cat is 14 pounds. And I go yeah. to other people's houses and I'm like, your cats are really small. <laughs> what is this kitten? What are they doing? Yeah. yeah. Like, but like, yeah, like her head is really big. And so she's like, you know, proportional. And then I just go and I'm like, these cats, the heads are so small. What are they doing? Uh, Okay, cool. So those are my questions. And now we're going to play a game. Okay. We're going to play a game, Categories. Okay. It's a classic improv game. You give somebody a category and then they list three to five things in that category. Mm -hmm. Um, And I get, as you have seen from the questions I've asked you so far, (laughs) it doesn't have to be like um, candy bars. It can Mm -hmm. be like places to honeymoon or like bad sock colors or something you know like whatever you want uh okay so we can do a couple rounds of that until um i guess brian decides he wants to be back on camera so um okay okay cool so we can think of a couple uh okay i have a category for you if you're ready okay um three of the worst places to take landscape photography (laughs) um a biohazard 
wasteland. One. A middle school. <laughs> Two. You freaking get out of here, middle schoolers. <laughs> the, it's just gross there. Um, a Costco parking lot. Three. That's there great. Yes. And then I can pose them back. Yes. Oh, okay. I yeah, now, I... now you can oh, ask I me like questions. It. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's do five newly invented jobs you would like to have at some point. Okay. Five newly invented jobs I would like to have at some point. Um, best breather. <laughs> Just pay me for breathing, folks. <laughs> uh, oh, um first class airline reviewer okay that's oh that's a nice one okay yeah uh because then i get to go to destinations but then they pay me to just like sit in how i don't even know how much the most expensive thing right. you've ever spent your money on okay um <laughs> okay <laughs> i came to my brain so i have to say it diamond eater okay it's very brave of you that's belly brave. full of diamonds mm -hmm. <laughs> i think that makes you some sort of mule but okay <laughs> um uh oh some sort of like um spreadsheet captain okay sure. i love spreadsheets oh oh um this exists but a train scheduler okay okay but it's new for you so it's new for me yeah i point. love scheduling things i worked at a summer camp it did the staff schedule for like 80 people it was at five or should i do that one was more? five if you okay want great one more you could do one more um or not uh pattern writer how good are your patterns there you go. Uh, specifically clothing patterns not yeah improv patterns i like it yeah i used to work at a summer camp too so oh nice that's why I asked. what did you do there i started at 14 washing dishes all summer um okay. and then moved on up and was a rec leader and then i was program director for the last couple of years so kind of like that scheduling all the people and like yeah you know your your biggest problem is the eight-year-olds are out of tie-dye and oh my god what are we gonna do and someone yeah. has to drive it down um but it was cool so I yeah did that for a long time uh yeah we had a golf cart that we would drive around solving problems have you ever seen the movie what hot american summer yes we and we would watch it yep. every summer yep. and we, <laughs> we would recast like who was who and yes yeah so as i like moved up i had more like janine garofalo's role yeah at the camp and then that whole idea of everyone wanting to go into town that's hardcore like that <laughs> that happened you're like are you fucking going to kmart like oh yeah. my god let me go let me go and yeah, yeah the idea like it just i feel like captures the energy of working at a summer camp really well and the scene where they make the kid take the shower they like pick up a child and make it <laughs> i was like that's the realest thing i've ever seen and then they run around like ours would run around with their punch mustache because we had like yeah, really yeah. vibrant red punch but they'd also be so dirty and like the chocolate milk mustache would layer over the punch mustache oh. and these kids like just didn't bathe for the mm -hmm. whole session and they're just like running and it was yep yeah we probably sent them home so gross <laughs> <laughs> uh okay yes. your um three least favorite sports least favorite sports mm -hmm. and they don't have to be like sp i'm yeah. loose on the definition of sports. okay so i was like oh now i have to think of sports no I don't no just like ac activity okay uh three least favorite sports Oh my god, now I'm like, what is a sport? Um, what do I not care for? Archery. One. Skeet shooting. Two. Uh, no, I do like the one where they ski and then they jump, because I used to do that on the Wii and think I could do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look, it's me. <laughs> um, oh, man. How do you feel about like water balloon toss? I think that's fun. Oh, okay. I so do, that's... If we all clean up. Man, I sound adult. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Sports I don't care for. Because, like, the Olympics are coming. So, I'm like, what's not Yeah, and they'll know if you say on this program which one you don't like. <laughs> oh. The Olympics will know. They'll know. <laughs> I don't really watch Javelin, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so, it's so funny because every everything that you talk about is, like, an airborne event. Yeah. Because <laughs> I... I do like a contact sport or the mm -hmm. opportunity for a contact sport. And so I got invited to go see a baseball game and I was like, oh, that's nice. And like kind of feeling out the crowd, like, are we diehard fans? Are we social yeah. fans? Because I'm going to be the social fan because there's just not enough opportunities for impact or like, what do you do? Like, you like a will they, won't they touch, yeah, but do. it's aggressive. Yeah. Like a, like a 
serial murder of the week drama show and you're like they're gonna kiss at the end of this <laughs> like one of those but they're you're like they're gonna fight this ties into scary movies i think so i think so um yeah i think airborne i just kind of go it's it's interesting it's a skill but yeah it, mm. you kind of lose track of it too this guy's so big I know. it's hard to see it's probably why i struggle with cornhole <laughs> this guy's so big I don't know where it's going. <clears throat> okay last one what okay. do you have for me hmm Let's do three Halloween costumes you'd like to have. Three Halloween costumes I'd like to have. Or like be at some point. Be at some point. That's great. Um, I think it would be really fun to be a Rubik's Cube. Um, but Can I function. Yeah, but okay. I don't have the patience, obviously, to build something like that. I do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love Halloween, so like. Whoa. I know. That's not really a surprise. <laughs> no, that kind of that does fit. Oh. Um okay uh other things oh my gosh i saw there's like a very classic meme of like um you like you, somebody knocks on your door for halloween and you open the door and there's another door yeah, yeah. and then there's like people behind uh-huh. it that are handing you candy i think that's really cute i would I like do that. that um and then i think oh doing some sort of like traveling band situation where we all dress up like the members of a band and then we all like play instruments and sing their songs so like one like we're all one direction for halloween and then we just go around singing one direction songs to people so like a caroler at Halloween. Yes. I like that. Halloween caroling. <gasps> Casey, that's a, you go. you're brilliant. Because yours are about like gifting back or like, look, this is interactive for you. <laughs> that's good. That's Thank good. you. I um I wish Halloween had more of like a spirit week to it, like like a whole week of dressing oh up. Oh my god. Because I I have so many ideas and I'll watch a movie or I'll just like think of something like, we should do that for Halloween. I should do that for Halloween. And I think I've got like decades of my life anticipated already. Um so it helps because at work we dress up and sometimes the kids will throw an extra couple of thematic days in there. Yeah. But I I came up with an idea at Dana's birthday party and I was like, I think this could be something, but I think it's a cold costume. It I would be cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. So I was like, damn it, it's a good idea. So I was thinking I would be like Rocky, Rocky Horror mm-hmm. and like dress up as Rocky from the boxing movies, but also he's the Rocky Horror picture show at the same time. <laughs> like blonde hair, gold, but With you're like, real. Because I already have the boxer like robe. That oh, yeah, he totally. Has and the socks. And oh, all that's that. good. And then you could do like the eye makeup, but then you also have to wear like the corset and, yeah. the, and the shorts and just be Tim Curry's <laughs> character at the same time. Wow. I don't know. This is why I need a lot of Halloween. So like, so like Rocky Balboa horror show is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Ah, Rocky ah. Balboa horror show. <laughs> yeah, Rocky Rocky gotcha. horror. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you need like a, a Halloween in July party. That would be good. Yeah, okay. I love dressing up. I love doing like silly things. So yeah, we could yeah. have more. I know that Brian has been talking about more um, dress them up days at the comedy spot. So that might be in your future. I like it. It's partially why I teach at a high school because we have spirit weeks. So I'm like, <laughs> like, let's go. I go pretty hard for all our spirit weeks. So. That's awesome. Yeah. If you want to throw more out. Yeah. I'm good. Cool. More spirit weeks. Yeah. We can. I think that's in the docket. But okay. okay. So uh, you can see Casey this Saturday at 730 p.m. for Riot yep. at the Sacramento Comedy Spot. You can buy tickets online. Thank you so much for yeah, joining us. Thank you so much. And I... I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're supposed to slide out.